Hello everybody, my name is John Armstrong and I am the instructor for your course, Physics for Scientists and Engineers. I just wanted to take a minute to introduce myself and to show you a little bit about the course that you're going to be taking over the next several weeks. Uh, I'm a professor here at Weber State University. My specialty is in astrophysics and in particular astrobiology. And I really enjoy learning about how the entire universe works. And it's the thing I love the most about physics is that physics is the science which lets us learn about how the entire universe works. So that's what you're going to be learning this semester. Uh, our class this semester has two main goals. And one is to survey all of physics. We're going to look at um, at least... Uh, the, the, the full physics sequence of 2210, 2220 explores all of physics, but we're going to explore all of physics up to, uh, you know, mechanics and thermal physics and things like that. But we're going to pretty much talk about every physical phenomenon that you, uh, that you see in your world. And that means we're describing the nature of the universe. So there's a lot of material in this class and we're talking about the, the forces that govern the way the universe works. Um, but the other main goal of this is to develop a way to study the world that's based on experiments and problem solving. In the online portion of this course with me, you're gonna be learning about uh, problem solving. We're gonna be working physics problems, talking about methods for solving problems. Uh, and things of that nature. In the lab portion of this course, you're going to be looking at experimental verification. We're going to be doing laboratory experiments at home uh, to explore physics and see how to design experiments to get at what's really going on in the universe around you. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing this semester. It's a lot of material. Um, you shouldn't expect to come out of this knowing everything there is to know about physics. There are way more courses you can take um, in the future to learn about all the details of physics, but what you should get out of this class is the ability to look at a physical situation and figure out how to at least identify what you know about the system, what you don't know about the system, and what you're trying to figure out, and maybe even design an experiment uh, to figure out what that is. So as you do this course, I would start by just uh, clicking on Begin Course, uh, which if you found this video, you already know how to do that. Um, your uh, syllabus is right here, which we're going to go over in just a second. Uh, the textbooks for this class are uh, open access textbooks online, uh, although I purchased a physical copy because I prefer to be able to sit and read it. So you can purchase uh, copies of those books. Uh, they're about uh, $50 a piece for each volume, um, or you can uh, just access that online or through a PDF. We also have some resources um, that you can have uh, through our online sources for on campus, as well as figuring out how to uh, learn Canvas if, if this is new to you. Uh, let's look at the syllabus really quickly, um, just so you can see kind of the way this course is going to be structured. Uh, this course is online. We have weekly modules. Um, you can expect one assignment per week plus your reading assignments and the lab that you'll be doing during that same week. Um, my office hours are flexible. Um, you can message me to set up a web conference or a web chat um, or make an appointment that we can uh, meet each other um, if necessary. Uh, that's something that we can do uh, whenever you'd like to do that. Uh, email is a great option as well, or you can message me through Canvas. Um, this lists our course goals, um, the format uh, that we've talked about already, uh, and then our homework assignments, exams, and the lab. So your homework assignments are going to be weekly. Uh, you will do those uh, from assignments in your book, and then you'll hand those in online as a scanned PDF document. Um, we also have two take-home exams for this class and your lab, and those three components are going to make up uh, the bulk uh, of your, the, the total of your grade. Um, I've also put down the due dates for each week assignment. We're going to stick to one assignment per week um, that you can see there uh, throughout the semester. Okay, so the main way to access materials in this course is through the modules link, and if I click on modules, um, you'll be able to see the, how the modules are put together. We have this introductory material uh, that you're going through right now. Uh, in particular, um, there's some notes on course pacing and how to kind of succeed in the class, so you might want to take a look at those. Each week is going to have a section with the chapter or chapters we're working on, which will include an overview uh, section, which will have some videos from me on uh, some of the key concepts for that week. You'll have um, your chapter reading, and then you'll have uh, some supplementary videos on uh, certain demonstrations that we would normally do in person, but we have videos of those that you can look at, uh, and then your weekly assignment. 
So I want to take a minute to just talk about your assignment because that's going to be the place where you're going to be practicing the most of your physics. Um, each week you're going to have an assignment due. There will be 12 problems from the chapters. Um, if if there's more than one chapter, those problems will be spread out, spread out throughout the chapters. And I want to point out that the way I evaluate your work is partly based on whether or not the solutions are correct, but it's mostly based on how you do the solutions. Um, so we're going to be focusing on a method that your book calls the strategy, solution, and significance method. And this is a way of breaking the problem into uh, three areas where you can uh, learn a method for solving these problems where even if you're not sure where to start it gives you a place to start and you can work through uh, work through the solutions of the problem and figure out whether or not you got the right answer um, but that uh, these these homework sets are going to be graded on completion whether or not you did them they're going to be graded on neatness and attention to detail so how well you've presented your solution and how uh, how um, how much detail you've put into it It'll be graded partly on the process you use, the strategy, solution, significance. And I have some uh, videos of those describing how to do those. And then the last part of it is gonna be on correctness. Um, now, the correctness is important because it helps you know whether or not you got the answer right, but in my mind, it's not the most important thing. I think you'll find that if you do these first three steps, which are 60% of the grade on your homework, that the last 40% is gonna kind of fall right out of it. Um, if you have a good process, that tends to lead you to a good solution. And if it doesn't, it generally lets you know whether or not you got the solution right or not, and you can go back and fix it or at least identify where you might have gone wrong. Um, once you finish this assignment, you'll scan it in with uh, uh, your, a phone app or a scanner. Um, I like to use a, a Adobe Scan works very well. I also use Dropbox, and these make a single document that you can upload um, to your uh, to your assignment on Canvas. And then this also has uh, the criteria here for each of the assignments. Uh, we also have the two exams. We'll be using very similar criteria to grade those, but we can talk about those later as we get closer to those dates. All right, so that's all I had to uh, introduce the course to you. I'm really excited about the course this semester. We have a lot of fun stuff to cover. Um, I will be posting um, videos and announcements as we go uh, to try and identify some interesting physics stuff that's happening. Uh, and I'm looking forward to meeting you and reading all of your introductions uh, in the discussion. So we'll see you there.